Yeah, come on here so we can see it. That'd be great. And then we can shoot a boat in the back on that for us. How's the trip been? Uh, pretty good. Still like two days ago. It got pretty rough. Nothing I'm not used to. Yeah, what is it that's brought you back? Why New Zealand? I don't know. It's always difficult to touch it. I really wanted to go back. So I was really happy. And then I didn't really like it. So what's your plan here now? Um, well, I'm gonna go to Thomasin, where I'm born, and then um, go out to New York for a month, do some uh, presentations, try to get some work, and then I'll come back here and try to build up a life. How, are you going to stay here permanently? Is that the That's the plan. And how, who, have you got anybody to stay here with? Or where will you go tonight? Um, I'm going over to Thomasin, which is pretty much where I'll be staying. Do you have family and friends here? Um, You're all on your own? Yeah. Well, I do have a couple of friends just in Wangarei, like that. Like, um, and some people that my parents know and that I knew when I was in Wangarei. Well, you would have thought that you sailed around the world on your own. You would have had enough of boats. Why did you come on down here? I don't have enough boats. I still love it. about your boat. How attached are you to this guppy? By now, quite a lot. It has been my home in, for the last two years, so, um, and still halfway, I've one and a half time around the world with it, so, yeah, and a good friend of mine now. <laughs> what makes it special? Um, I guess just all the memories that I have on the boat, and it's just, it's a pretty good boat. I haven't had a lot of trouble with her. Pretty well. I haven't really given her any big maintenance in the last two years, and she still made it into here. So, pretty proud of that boat. Well, she's a star. So, so are you. There's talk of Hollywood wanting to make a movie of you. What do you think of that? I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. So, I'm, I'm a sailor. I'm not really sure all the famous stuff. So. No. Uh, We've just done an Olympic cycle here. You're a famous sailor. Would you like to sail for New Zealand? Do you think? If I could, yes. I would love to do that. <laughs> now, it's a life ambition of yours to sail around the world on your own. You, you've done that. What next? I don't know. There are a lot of things that I could do next. But um, at this point, I'm not entirely sure. I will see what I'm overall into. Maybe I will go back into racing. Uh, maybe we'll find some other great voyage to do. So um, I'll see. Now, more immediately, you've just done three weeks at sea. What are you looking forward to now? Hot showers, fresh foods, and a good night of sleep. Okay, now you've travelled over here with Bruno. Tell us a story of that. Um, I pretty much uh, when I was in the Caribbean, I wanted to know what it would be like to sail with the crew. I 
I'm not alone. Uh, so I was looking for someone and then um, actually from a friend of his, uh, we were like, oh yeah, I'll be crazy enough to go with you to New Zealand. So we jumped in the boat and we got to know each other and uh, well, he's still here. So. How did it work out? Oh, well, he didn't pick up a lot about sailing, which really surprises me being four months on the boat, but um, it's really good company and it's actually nice to sail its crew, just having an extra hand if you want to, as someone to talk to. <laughs> he said he learned very little about sailing, but maybe he was teaching you the guitar. How are, you, how, how are your lessons coming on? I got a lot better. <laughs> yes, that's good. So, um, yeah, worked out well. Okay, we wish you well. Welcome home. Thank you. Thanks, Laura. Hey, Laura. How are you? I'm Steve from Yacht Yakka. Okay. This is my friend Edwin Delart. Hi. Yeah. We picked up on. I've been following you since the first court case, and I've got a lot of information about you on my website, Yacht Yakka. Okay. And one of the things that you said in your blog is that you want to settle here and do some dinghy racing and get into, you know, life, yeah. life in New Zealand. About the Royal New Zealand Yacht Squadron, all right? They got they got a few trophies on their cabinets: the America's Cup, the Volvo Ocean Race, you know, a few other bits and pieces. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we, we've been following you here for a long, long time, and uh, it's great to finally see you parked up it's in Marston Cove. Here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And tell us, there's a bit of your mainsail up there. Yeah, what happened? I don't know. I, I Old don't age? Know. No, not at all. I, I just renewed that sail in the Caribbean, actually. Just, yeah. I, just, I, just, I, I just broke. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Um, just one of those things, eh? Oh, it kind of looks like that all the like newer sails just get worse and worse. So um, this is like the oldest sail that I put it up now. And, uh, oh, so this is another. Sa this is a second, a second main. Yeah, so like three spares. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's crazy. Just in case, you know, and I ripped two already, so. Um, yeah. yeah it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'd just like to say the the way that you did your trip around the world and stopping off and exploring and getting to know the the, the ports that you went to. Fabulous, fantastic. Pick your time to leave, and um, yeah, great, great, great achievement. Thanks. Sorry, mate. I like the Jolly Roger up there. The Jolly Roger, yeah. Yeah, if, if, if you fly that into America, they can still shoot you, eh? <laughs> yes, and now it's Japan, and uh, I think they like yeah. it there. Yeah, and, and New Zealand, mate, we welcome it. Yes. <laughs>